Hey, how's it going? I'm uh, doing a travel vlog uh, here in uh, New Orleans. So this is a tropical storm, which, you know, in hindsight, maybe not the best time to come. This place is awesome. You can be as weird as you want to be and no one cares. It's awesome. They got vampires outside and shit. It's crazy. I mean, like, I'm not being silly. They actually have people who identify as vampires outside. Well, not outside my door, hopefully. Yeah, so, I mean, traveling was a kind of a pain in the ass, um, honestly. Uh, that's why I didn't really... I have some footage of that, but I don't know if I'm going to put it in there. Put put it in here. It's just, it's aggravating, especially for me. Um, well, if you're watching, this for you too. But I'm here, and uh, it's just a room tour. It's just a bed and a TV, a chair that I... Oddly put in the middle of the room. Um, it's just the hallway. I'm trying to get to my sister's room. Which they're not ready because they're weirdos. Welcome to New Orleans. Can you take a shot of us, please? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'll put my camera in the back. So I'm back in my room. Uh, had a pretty, pretty awesome day. Uh, walked maybe seven miles through the city, which is pretty, pretty, you know, pretty good. It's a beautiful city. Uh, it's flooding right now. Tropical storm. All right. So a uh, little update about my ADHD. I took someone's advice that uh, commented on, on my, uh, my experience with ADHD video. And I got one of these. It's CBD lollipop. It's only 10 milligrams, but the guy said... You know, that's all I need. He also tried to sell me weed though, which was kind of weird. Okay, so yeah, it was a long, long day. It was, it was really, it's really fun. Uh, toward the end, um, we kind of missed seeing the fireworks, like all of them. But uh, you know, we we saw a little bit, you know. So it's pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna film some more tomorrow and put another one out. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. So it's um it's three thirty in the morning. And um I guess I don't know if you hear that it's a fucking party on in the <laughs> in the hallway, so um <clears throat> I can't sleep. So let's figure you know, kinda of document this. Update. It's like nine AM. Didn't really get a lot of sleep. They were so loud last night. So I just went down to the store and got something to drink and some chips and shit, but man, this place does get rowdy as hell. So it's walking around the streets of New Orleans. It's uh it's pretty nice. It's not too many people. I think everyone left. Oh, it's a bookstore. Well. well, you want to go in? Sure. You want to go in? Alright, we're going to go in. So we just went into the bookstore slash record store. It's pretty amazing. Uh, it's three stories. If, if I uh, drove here, I definitely would have bought out the store. <laughs> it was pretty cool. So I uh, just went to the aquarium. I'll put some footage of it in here. But you had a, had, it was really nice. It was, uh, it's one of the better of uh, aquariums, you know. Uh, the Baltimore one's better, but, you know, it's it's really, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. I saw some sharks, got some footage of that. I'm back in the hotel I uh, totally messed up my foot um, good news though I did get Starbucks I got a green tea latte yeah so um, we're about to go on a historic walking tour of uh, New Orleans I'm not sure how much they'll allow us to film and I hate talking in public so um, you know, I'll record whatever all right so I wasn't able to film the tour but uh, just walking back from getting something to eat after the tour. It's a really awesome tour, actually. So I'm um, back in my room. It's hot even at nighttime here. It's it's crazy. It's like 140% humidity. But it was a great tour. Uh, learned a lot. Um, it was uh, our tour guide was very knowledgeable, and um, I really enjoyed it. So I just walked down the hall to my sister's room. We're doing another tour, but I think this one I can actually film, so that'll be interesting. It's one of those hot days, you know. The sitting here in the baking sun, uh, hopefully it's gonna, I don't see you can see that, but hopefully it's gonna rain in a little bit. I mean, I would, I would appreciate a flash flood right now. It's that hot. But yeah, we're just uh, sitting here waiting on our uh, tour guide. We got stood up the first time. Hopefully we don't get stood up the second time. Uh, it looks like we're gonna get stood up. So I guess we're just gonna hang out and check out the cool park. And um, tour's not coming. We uh, spent $90 on a tour that we can't do now. So uh, we will be trying to get a refund. But I'm gonna check out the rest of the park and just chill and you know. I mean, I'm already here, I might as well. Nice little pond in the middle of the park, bridge. Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's a turtle. So that's pretty cool. Lily pads, I think. The turtles were over there. They're fighting or something. Man. It's the eagle. Cool. Let's go up here. It's a phenomenal statue. It's a cool statue. I'll come back and see that. Let's check out this bridge. It's a theater of performing arts. That's pretty cool. Honestly, this is probably cooler than the tour we would have gone to. So got back to the hotel. I don't know if you can tell, but man, uh, I feel like a lobster right now. It's uh, you just bake in the in the the sun out there. Uh, we had fun. Uh, Spite getting ripped off for like ninety dollars. I mean, it's going to be hard to get that back. A lot of these play, you know, a lot of these tours in New Orleans. The thing they don't tell you is that they're they're private contracted and so you're probably not gonna get your money back i had more fun at the park just walking around than i probably would have on the tour so so <laughs> i came over and my sisters in their room they have this vegan spread oh, it looks so good <laughs> where did this stuff come from um, the beignets, so the little donuts came from seed, and then these other, all the actual, like, food came from a place called Vegan with a Twist. Oh, man, they look so, what is that, mm -hmm. a Philly steak? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, these look so good. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> so, after six and a half hours, we have a new tour that we're going to go on. Uh... It's a night tour of cemetery, which I mean, I don't really know if you're going to be able to see anything because it's nighttime. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they'd have flashlights and stuff like that, but <sighs> yeah, hopefully this one works out. Really cool shoes and my sisters are in there and I can't go in because there's no foods or drinks allowed. I got stuck honing their drinks. It's kind of how my life goes. Okay, changed and uh, waiting for my sisters to get ready so we could go try to do this tour that probably won't be there when we get there. checking it out how cool this is look at this
creepy as hell. My sister doing album art. I'm taking cool pics. What'd you say? Got you doing album art. I am. Walking away from the tour a little bit. Figuring out some of the cool stuff. If you guys come to uh, New Orleans, you should definitely do a tour similar to this. Look how old that is. I almost feel disrespectful doing this, but uh, we were told that it was perfectly fine. and So, I mean, that's the only reason why I'm... The only reason I'm doing this, but... Man, this is, this is really neat. This would be a horrible way to be buried though, I think. Well, I guess not. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're dead, you're dead. This is pretty, pretty cool. So we stopped to get some beignets and some coffee. It's a great tour. I uh, think we're gonna go ghost hunting or something like that. I don't know. It's gonna be neat. Can you please point to my sister Lindsay holding the camera? Are you holding it too high? No. Oh no, you're not, okay. Are you afraid of me? I think you have to hold it a little lighter. I think you're clenching it too much. Yeah. I'm barely holding it. Like hold it with like two fingers. Yeah, okay. Okay. Can you please point to my sister Lindsay? Hi. That's my sister Ash. Uh, I'm one of your sisters. You have to I, point to my I'm sister Lindsay. Lindsay's the one holding the, 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 the light. Can you please point to her? Are you tired? I'm sorry. Please point to Lindsay. Thank you. Does it take a lot of energy to move the rods? Open for yes, close for no. Do you like communicating? It was a pretty, uh, pretty long day. I'm uh, going back to my room. Gonna watch a little bit of TV and uh, probably go to sleep. It was hot. Super hot. Even at nighttime, it's super hot. Uh, man, I was glad to be back. So we went ghost hunting. We did a whole bunch of cool stuff. And um, I got to film it. <laughs> so that's cool, you know. It's a bonus. So I'm signing out. Well, signing off. I'm tired. Don't mind me. All right. See ya. So, my sister Lindsay just surprised my sister Ash on her birthday with Cheesecake Factory. Look at some cake there. I got this. It's way too big to eat. To, I mean, 
It's like a family size calzone. Okay, so today we're going to the World War II Museum. We're gonna film in here and see what all is going on. to make it to shore through the relentless gunfire. But all 12 of my men fought hard, and six hours later, we safely reached the hills. I shipped overseas to Edinburgh, Scotland. We had to be in good shape, so we trained by walking and hiking with all of our gear. We met our first patients, British soldiers who had been wounded in the North Africa campaign. Treating these men prepared us for what bombs, bullets, and shrapnel can do to the human body. The men and women who served in World War II began their journey on a train like this one. You two are about to embark on an extraordinary journey. Tap your dog tag at the numbered stations to check in with your World War II individual and hear the next chapter of their story. Explore and save featured items you like to your dog tag collection. After your visit, you can exit. Now that you've met the individual you're going to follow, it's time to start your journey. Head to the Campaigns of Courage Pavilion to continue with the next chapter. Thank you for visiting the National World War II Museum. Thank <laughs> you. 
distribution causes a branch of the army known as the quartermaster corps, which develops a vast, well-ordered system. The long journey from the factories begins when America's region's grocery and shipping executives manage the supply and transport of these wartime goods. So I guess this is how the bunkers looked. So we're eating at this really nice restaurant. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Have some uh, jalapeno bread. It's really good. So we just went to the World War II Museum. It's incredible, actually. Uh, it's really informative. I learned a lot of stuff. Normally, uh, whenever my dad would have World War II stuff on TV and stuff like that, uh, oh, I mean, I'd go in the other room. It's like I didn't want to hear that, but. Now that I've like actually learned a lot about it, it's it's amazing how brave people were back then. You know, it's 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 one of those things where they say it's the, it's the greatest generation, it's the greatest generation. After you watch, you know, some of the footage and stuff from the you know World War II, yeah, they were the greatest generation. They were just so brave and just so willing to just give everything, you know. And because of, you know, their sacrifice, we, we, you know, actually have the freedoms we have now. We're, we're not living in, you know, some alternate <laughs> reality where, you know, the bad guy wins. It was just, it was really, really awesome. And I'm really glad we went. Well, today's the last day here. Going home today. I'll be home about maybe one o'clock in the morning. It's uh almost ten o'clock in the morning now. So long day. Uh we gotta stop in Dallas, Texas. I'll probably get some footage there. We'll get something to eat or something, I don't know. We have like a three hour layover, so it is what it is. So we ate at the restaurant where Beyonce and Jay Z eats at here in New Orleans last night. And I forgot my camera, so I don't have any footage of that. Um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> it was pretty good food, actually. It was fantastic food. I'll be on my way to Texas, then on my way back home. Saying goodbye to New Orleans. So we're getting food at the airport, uh, right across from our gate actually, so it's pretty convenient. But uh, yeah, you know, this is uh, my last day in uh, New Orleans, my last couple hours rather, in New Orleans, and then I'll be on my way home. So this is my uh, last meal here in uh, New Orleans, looks pretty damn good landed in Texas um, really big airport the in Texas is eating chips and we order some food it should be here anytime <coughs> huge airport next I'll be home 
it was really, really good. And now it's time for us to pay and go to our game. Finally back in Indy. Here's our airport. Everything's closed. Of course, it's 12 o'clock in midnight. It's a long trip, but it's well worth it. Hey! Hey! Finally made it back home. It's a long trip. Oh my God! Pretty cool oh, though. Baby, come the, here, see my little my little puppy He's friend. Good boy. Oh, my greeted God. us as soon as we walked Bless in. You. <laughs> yeah, I walked in my sister's room. Hey Ziggy, come here. Look Thank all this you, cool Ziggy. stuff. You can come with us. Celebrate. <laughs> yeah, it was a long trip. It was it was well worth it. We got a bunch of food. Got my dad's here. Hey. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm glad to be back. Um, yeah, it was a great trip. You know, I'm not really sure what I'm going to film tomorrow because I want to film some tomorrow, but this is the end of this one. So, see ya.